Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Learning Korean Day 220. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And let's see what we are doing today. So uh, yesterday we finished up half of um, the lesson 23 on how to study Korean.com. Uh, we can see it here. So we learned a lot about the colors and the HG regular. And now the next section is, or the second half begins with these three words, to be like this or that. Uh, this is where we'll jump in today and maybe finish the grammar today. Um, before we go into that, I want to do a little check on Memrise. We still have the... Uh, things look a bit a little different around here message and I have actually checked what is different and I've seen uh, the preview there's a function called preview that you can use that is different and also the speed review so the speed review is something that we did in the past and that is redesigned so I think well, it should be a good start for today. Let's just do a speed review and then we go into the grammar. So we have 53 words to review anyways and we'll just do that with a speed review. I will probably, f uh, to be honest, I will expect to just fail. Uh, there's, it's a pretty long time since I've been uh, doing the last speed review, but let's try anyways. Okay. To listen. 들어보다. 들어보다. Close one. To be right. Uh, 넓다. 넓다. Yeah, this is a complete uh, redesigned interface. Recently, 출근에. 출근. 출근. A noun to indicate that something is more than something else. 이상. 이상. Postage stamp. Oh shit. 우표. 우표. To be confusing, uh, het gal. Het galida. Het galida. Comic book, manhua check. Manhua check. To be special, uh, tuk biorada. Tuk biorada. To be round, uh, danke, right? Dan yeah, danke da. Dunke da, yeah. Um, to translate, ponyokada. Mom, omma. Omma. Bill, uh, no, Chungguso. This one, Chungguso. Uh, okay, to win, uh, Igida. Igida. Gida is, is uh, not correct. Uh, news, Sus. Sushik. Sushik. Uh, shut up. Takcho. Uh, Ke. Kidakji. Kudakji. Wedding, 결혼식. 결혼식. Rice paddy, nun. Nun. Opinion feedback, 의견. 견. 의견. To be pleasant, uh, 즐겁다. 즐겁다. Yeah. Uh, 졸업. 졸업. 졸업하다. S sweep. Sweep. To disappear, Sara Jida. Sara Jida. Not, not jam. Not jam. Not jam. Yeah. When, onje. Onje. Schedule. Yejong. Yejong. <laughs> Manhua. Manhua. Shin. Shin. Check out. Uh, Tue Wanada. Check in. Pon on. Pon one other. Ibonada. Ibonada. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Jida. Jida. Tada. Tada. Mito. Mito. Nugu. Nugu. 
Lushan. Lushan. Jungu song. Chung yo song. Chung song. Chari. Chari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chima. Chima. Chitta. Chitta, okay. But Pail. Pail. Chit. Chit. Gum. Gum. Chaji Ada. Chaji, yeah, Chaji. Keran. Keran. Polgum. Polgum. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure about the last one. Oh, what's this? Game over. Oh, we have an animation for game over. Wow. 44, correct. Yeah, okay. Hi, Kaya. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so that was the newly redesigned speed review. Continue. Oh, wow! What is this? Well, okay, this is not, not the speed review anymore. But this is a complete redesign of, of, of the buttons here as well. You, don't even see it because the bottom is cut off, but it's only on uh, uh, here on the stream. Um, usually, yeah, I, I cut some uh, some some area on the left, right, top, and bottom. Actually, not top, but only bottom, left, and right, uh, where there was nothing in the old design, so that everything can get a bit bigger because I just cut away the useless stuff from the sides that's what i did so that's why this might look a bit weird uh, that here the right side for example is cut off or the left side is cut off uh, usually this it, it looks better maybe i can no this is even worse okay <laughs> maybe i can wait a second let me try something Ah, uh, okay. I guess it doesn't work. Oh! Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, he, now you can at least see uh, that it's like rounded edges here on both sides. Anyways, uh, yeah, this looks very different now. But that was just a little review I wanted to do and also see the new design. I think it's... Uh, I don't have any big opinion about that so far. I guess the speed review section is a bit nicer because it has that that bar of time that uh, runs out. And before that it was just like the border of the box that went red uh, to the top. So that was a bit weird. That's better now. But in general, I don't have a big opinion on this. Mm. Yeah, and now let's just continue with the grammar. Okay, so here we are. So to... Yeah, to review the colors. Mm. This is what we learned for the colors. There are five different ways to say something is red or red house in this case. And we have pretty much figured out what, what is most common in everyday speech for Koreans. And now we will learn about like that, like this. Okay, let's see. So, uh, irota, kurota, and jorota 
are all adjectives. Each word is essentially the same, the only difference being the only difference being the difference between ik and cho. I remember this, yes. This and the other one is k referring to a previous sentence, to, to, referring to a thing mentioned in a previous sentence. And this is also this, but referring to something that you can point at. At that time, yeah, that referring to the last week. And here, something that is far from you. But like you can see it. Okay. So they're very common and important in Korean, okay? Um, irota means like this. But is rarely used in its dictionary form. It is generally used in two ways as an adjective and as an adverb. As an adjective, iran. Yeah, so that's what we learned yesterday about the H regular. The H gets uh, dropped when we add uh, N or in. Exactly. So we get Iran. And it means this sort of, this kind of, this type of. This type of work is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let, let me just read it. Uh, Iran, Iran, <laughs> Iran, Iran, <laughs> Iran, Iran, okay. Uh, we are mother. Iran, Iran, we are mother. Okay, as an adverb. Irot K. So this seems to be the normal transformation. Uh, from an adjective to an adverb, just add k to the stem. And here we do not remove the h, okay? Means like this. Chonin. I I should uh, I should figure out how to pronounce this, like an h, followed by a. G basically. Let me check that. H followed by G. So we have the H. H here. And followed by G. That word. Okay, second column. Okay, it's just like a stronger K. So it's not a G. It's not a G. That's important. It's just a K. Yeah, and that also means that the H is silent, otherwise the H would show up here. It's it's just literally only the K. For example, here you see this is a B, followed by like a G or double G. Then you can see it's B plus. That is when it's not silent, but here we don't see the H. So, uh, yeah, it's just silent H and a strong K sound. That's what it should be. Refer, uh, according to this table. So now let's see. So that means we have Iroke. Chonin Iroke Hagoshipoyo. Chonin Iroke Hagoshipoyo. Chonin Iroke Hagoshipoyo. I, I, I totally went up with my voice in the end to make it like a question <laughs> for no reason. Uh, okay. Why are you going so early? Like this. Uh, uh, where? Where iroke? Iljik kayo. Iljik kayo. Like this early to go.
Okay. So why are you going this early? Mm -hmm. Why is this so hard? This is like like this in brackets here. I, I don't see the point of this. This looks weird. Why is this so hard like this? Makes no sense for me, but I understand it anyways. Um, e irun we iroke orio woyo. Oreo Voyo. Okay. Oreo. Wait a second. So hard. Uh, difficult, right? Um. Is it Oropta? Oriopta. It's Oriopta. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. I, I was a bit confused because uh, initially I thought uh, this uh, Rio is always uh, already transformed because of the conjugation, but then I thought, wait, if this is already transformed, why is then the. the coming from the be irregular after that it makes no sense <laughs> but yeah it's audio okay <clears throat> okay you will notice that in the last two examples the words like this in English don't necessarily need to be in the sentence it's hard to fully explain in words as this is something that you really just pick up after a while when learning Korean when Korean people ask a why question they often stress why by using iroke okay also notice the usage of il um, Ah, ah, yes, I mean this one. <laughs> I thought here I'll check early. Okay, it is here. Um, yeah, this this work, this task. Mm -hmm. Also, although the best uh, translation for the word ill is work, it's very common uh, for Korean people to use ill to represent some sort of task or thing that somebody has to do. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know that. Yeah. I'm reluctant to show you the most common example of this. I'm reluctant to show you the most common example of this being used because you haven't learned the grammar with it. Okay. Nonetheless, you will often see Chonin Hal Iri Hariri. Hariri isoyo, which translates to I have something to do. I Yeah, okay, I have no idea. Uh, you haven't learned how Hal is being used, but try to focus on the usage of ill in this sentence. Yeah, ill as an object, I guess. Um, I have a task that I will do. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a task that I will do. Okay, this is some sort of future form for Hada. Okay, I see. The sentence above could also be written as this Oof. 
where in a non question have I learned this? <laughs> oh no. This thing Yeah, he he forgot the question mark. Yeah, <laughs> I was really confused. He 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 not even forgot the question mark. He added the point even so, he just uh, used the wrong sign here, the the wrong character. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so instead of this task, it's the thing. The rest is the same. Yeah, I mean, not super difficult this whole thing, right? Il is also task, not just the literal work, the literal job that you do, but also just something you have to do, some task that is not your job. Okay. Next one. Now that you know about uh, idota, learning about kurota is simple. Like idota, kurota is usually used as an adjective or an adverb. Kuron. I don't trust that type of person. Hmm. To trust. Mita. Okay, don't trust. Michianayo. Chonin Kuran Sam Saramil. Yeah, Saramil. Chonin Kuran Saramil Michianayo. 저는 그런 사람을 믿지 않아요. I don't like that type of thing. Uh, 저는 그런 것을 좋아하지 않아요. 저는 그런 것을 좋아하지 않아요. Okay, as an adverb. So again, same structure. Uh, 그렇게. 그렇게. Okay. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, th that made no sense. I was very confused. I don't think like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I just <laughs> didn't read the thing and I was a bit confused because then it's like a whole different way. Uh, like a whole different case. The like would be a noun, uh, a verb. I don't like this. I like that. So it's completely different from the like that uh, for this adverb. Okay, I don't think like that. Chonen kuroke sangakaji anayo. 저는 그렇게 생각하지 않아요. 생각하지 않아요. 아. Stuff like this it's definitely going a bit faster compared to half a year ago. <laughs> I don't make a break after every single syllable. 생각하지 않아요. That's good. But I always say 않아요. It's an ayo. I have to, yeah, say it right. Okay, um, I want to exercise like that. Chonen kuroke undong hagoshipoyo. Hagoshipoyo. Okay. Chorota. Choroto can be used the same way as irot uh, chorota can be used the same way as irota and kurota as 
Choran and uh, Choron and Choroke. All you need to do is to keep in mind the difference between E, K, and Jo. Okay, so it's all the same. No special rules for, like, no two of these follow the exact same pattern, and then the third one is completely different. <laughs> That's that definitely happens sometimes, but thankfully, it looks like so far we are following the same pattern for every one of these three words. That's good. Just like our color words represented earlier in this lesson, when A or O, or something that starts with that, is added to irota, kurota, or jorota, an irregular conjugation occurs. Let's look at that next, at this next, okay. Okay, so, so far we learned, okay, we can put an, an, an N to it, like this one here, or we can use the K to make an adverb, these two. So those both of these are not RO. So now we learn about RO. Okay. Okay, so these three words can also be used as the predicating word the end of a sentence. These usually mm, these are usually only seen in relatively simple sentences asking or indicating if something is like this, like that. Okay, so like you would add ida to an adjective, for example, maybe. Yeah, actually, never mind. Mm. Uh, okay, not really. No idea here. Hello, Ray. Smiley emoji. Uh, welcome to the stream, Spaghetti Sky. I remember your name. You were here a few months, weeks ago, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I remember the name at least. Thanks for tuning in. Um, okay, so we can use it at the end of a sentence. For example, yeah, okay, here it is. <laughs> it looks like it's not the end. It's actually even in the first half of the sentence. But this all is just a. Uh, like this whole thing is just a conjugation of the end, so this is basically the end of the sentence. So it's still the end. Ia kyodo kuroji ansimnika. So H and G, let me see how to pronounce it. H and J, not G. Uh, okay, like a CH, okay. See, that's important. I need to know that. Otherwise, I cannot say this correctly. So, this is uh, Kerochi. Kerochi. Not Keroji. It's Kerochi. Iakyodo uh, Kerochi Antsimnika. It sounds like Kerocha. Kerocha. Wow, okay, never mind. I will just uh, continue. I will not think about this, but it definitely sounds like a cha. <laughs> Um, yes, that is correct. That's the way it is. Nee. 
again h followed by s h followed by s double s okay ne kerosimida kerosimida okay so it's kind of used like a verb yeah i i guess or like an adjective yeah as an as an adjective predicating a sentence okay the most common way that you will see any of these words being used especially for beginner is in the following form weire wekere oh wekere i know this <laughs> i i actually yeah, I, I learned this in the first Memrise course. Wekere. So now I know the grammar. <laughs> I learned this this sentence in one of the very first, like the first or second week, I guess in the second week of my Korean learning project here. And obviously I didn't know any of these individual syllables or any of the grammar. But yeah. I definitely learned this. Where could I? What is that? I think I learned it as was. What is that? Hmm. Anyways, we will continue. And uh, notice that the same H irregular applies to the words above. That is, when adding A or O the h is dropped and the o changes to an a okay in these two cases we didn't have that because we are not adding our o we add uh, g here and here we add simnida mm, okay so this is the first time we add R or O. Okay. In each case, the speaker is asking, why are you like this set? Actually, you know what? I, I, I'm just curious. I'm a curious person, so... Uh, oh, this new design. <laughs> um, where's my dashboard? Okay, now it looks normal again. No, 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 no. Back. I want to see this. Where is it? I guess. Yeah, maybe here. Ah, where? Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, I, I knew it. Oh, I learned it at what the. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> where could I? Here, I even learned, you see this, this grayed out thing here? I even learned individual letters at that point when I learned this. I learned where could I, when I didn't even know all the letters of the Korean alphabet. <laughs> That's how early it was. Crazy. Here are some other letters as well. They are grayed out because I... I put them on my ignored list after I I was uh, comfortable with the letters. Uh, I, I didn't want to review and repeat them every time, so I put them on my ignore list because I was sure, I was confident that I know them. Because I, lo I learned so many other words using these letters, obviously. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. Uh, In each case, it's because why are you like this or like that? That is... Ah, here we have it. Okay. This is very common in Korean conversation as it's essentially like saying what is wrong, what's the matter or what's the... Beep. <laughs> you know, I'm... I, I'm not big on Twitch anyways. I can say what the fuck. It's, it's possible. What the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm.
Okay. So why? Why like this? Or why like that? And the the U also is is omitted. And and, and the to be is is included in here in the adjective, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's a normal adjective, right? Normal adjective. Yeah, the normal adjective. So we can just like this is like completely basic uh adjective usage and all the adjective in Koreans include the to be. So why is it like this or why are you like this? Hmm? Makes sense, okay. Uh, Kerota specifically is also commonly used by people to express their content or agreement with some sort of statement or situation. Okay, so it went all a bit too perfectly so far. All the three words were exactly the same, they all follow exactly the same pattern. It was suspicious already, you know, I couldn't believe it really. And now we finally have at least a little detail where one of the words has a little extra. So now, now, now everything is fine in the world of Korean learning again. Okay, so let's see some examples of that. Do you want to go to the park together tomorrow? Sure. Like that is fine. Let's go together. Okay. Uh, Neil is tomorrow. Uh, Kung Wone to the park. Uh, Kachi. Kachi. Together. And want to go. Uh, okay, together. Uh, Neil Kung Wone Kachi Kagoshipoyo. Kereo, Kereo, Kachigayo, Kereo, Kachigayo, Kachigayo. Like that is fine. Like, like that. It's like that. It is like that. This should be like the literal translation. It is like that. Mm. Okay, I see. Okay, let's do another example here. I'm going to go now. Um, Jaga? In the third okay I, I will read the I, I will not read the third example for now I, let, let me finish this first uh, Jega this confuses me a bit right now but I know that was some special case when you use e or ga as an subject marker with I with with cha it gets transformed to Chega right Chega Jega but I'm, I'm I'm not really sure when to use Chonin and when to use Chega uh, Jega. I, I I forgot why you would use this one. Damn, I have to review this. But I will not uh, look it up now. I will just accept it for now. Uh, so Jega Jigim Kalkoyo Kereo. Okay, now third example. Tomorrow I can't come to work. Sure. See you on Monday. <laughs> yeah. I mean... To be honest, I don't really know how it works for different jobs. 
uh, I only have I only have had I have only had one real job so far I had some uh, internships some like little jobs when I was doing my master thesis or my bachelor thesis and so on but like real full-time job like eight hours a day I only had one which is my current job and in my job it's just yeah I can just uh, usually do it except tomorrow some special thing is happening uh, that I've known before <laughs> then I should have announced it uh, like a few days in advance but in general that's definitely possible but of course it means that I have to use one of my holidays for that or I have to use my <sighs> what's the English word for that the hours I I work longer on other days you know let, let me let me let me check it I want to learn to uh, improve my English as well um, what it's it's literally overtime hours okay I, I thought there's a special word for that that's overtime hours is the same in German basically I guess I guess maybe extra hours is more common yeah take for your, yeah exactly this that's what I mean to work over I guess overtime hours is, is good yeah Okay, so let me read this. Uh, here we have Chonin again. Uh, Chonin Neil Huisae Motwayo. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not happening the coming to work is not happening because something is preventing me some current situation is preventing me in this case a situation tomorrow is preventing me so this is a negative sentence even if we have no like real negative conjugation like uh, GNIO or an we learned this like two or three lessons ago with uh, Jal and Mot. Okay. Sure, that's fine. See you on Monday. Kereo. Wal. Wal. Wal yo. What? See you on Monday. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> this is Monday. Uh, ah, yeah, I also misread. I said wal. Made no sense to me. Yeah. Warioil. Uh, Warioil. 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 Now I have it. Warioil. Wow, this I, I can't I almost can't hear the syllables like super fast. These these two are like so fast I <laughs> I wanted to hear if he connects this R at the end of this to this one, but I can barely even hear both of these <laughs> syllables so so fast. Yeah, whatever. 
In the same respect, it is often used as a question to express one's disbelief or shock. In reality, the speaker isn't actually shocked or in disbelief, but merely showing his or her interest in the conversation. This would be akin to using the word really. I was in Canada last week. Oh, really? Where did you go? Uh, Chonin. Okay, uh, Chonin Jinan Jue Kenadae Isosoyo. Creo. Odie Kasoyo. I usually don't eat meat. 나는 보통 고기를 안 먹어. 안 먹어. 나는 보통 고기를 안 먹어. 먹어. I still, I still don't know if there are situations where the an is more common. And other situations where the the G is more common, the the G anayo is more common. Kaya, do you do you know about that? When you would use uh, an or uh, G anayo? I I always see both of them. I I, I feel like both of them. I see them equally as often. So I have no idea. <laughs> uh, before pure Korean verbs, an is mo much more common. Ah, okay. Uh, is my memory correct that every verb that is not ending in hada is pure Korean? And the Hada verbs are mostly Chinese, or are they always Chinese? But but I'm pretty sure the non-Hada are always pure Korean, right? Okay, that's true. So, and the Hada verbs, are they always Chinese, or are they mostly Chinese? Are there pure Korean Hada verbs? That's a question that I'm that I'm missing. Almost always hard as Chinese. Okay, so if they are like uh, zero point one percent, then I don't care. But in general, hard as Chinese, so you you would use Jianayo, uh, and for da verbs, you would use an. More commonly, not always. You have to believe that, uh, you have to do that and so on, but more common. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Kaya. So here, yeah, we have Mokda, so the An makes sense with that knowledge. And here we had the G. Where do we have the G? Ah, okay, it was. Okay, so here we have uh, a contradicting example. But maybe it's because these are a bit special, or he's just, for some reason, just to use it, uh, he's using the more uncommon way then because this is not this is not a hada i mean it's an adjective you said verbs okay you said verbs so i guess that's a difference here hmm? okay okay 
So maybe for all adjectives, it's more common to use uh, uh, Gianna, Gianta. <laughs> I we had another example here. Ah, yeah, here we have a Hada verb with uh, Anta, Gianta. Yeah, okay. So I guess for this is a verb. Yeah, for verbs, I guess. From these three exam or two examples, it's true, yeah. Okay, um, where did we stop? Here, I think. This water doesn't taste good. Doesn't taste good. I'm thinking about there was some situation where I learned I don't know what I learned even but I, I, do, I know I know for the more or less more is uh, tall and less is toll right and I learned that Koreans would rather use not more instead of less and reading this sentence, I wonder if the same is true for other situations. Like in this case, not good instead of bad. No. But yeah, anyways. Imori um, mashi mashiopso. Mashiopso. This water does not have taste. Okay. Kure. Kure. Many other grammatical principles that can be added to irota, kurota, and chorota. But these haven't been introduced yet. Yeah, I, I added a that here for some reason. Anyways, specifically you can you will find that many grammatical principles can attach to kurota to have their respective meaning combined with the meaning of kurota. Okay, grammatical principles can attach to kirota. Okay, so kirota is a bit more special than irota and charota. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, that is also the most common verbs, uh, words even in English compared to this or the other form of that. These will all introduced, will all be introduced in a future lesson. In future lessons where the grammatical principle is introduced but here is a quick taste of what I'm referring to I suggest browsing through this list just to get an idea of how versatile kerota is the general meaning of kerota and how this meaning can be applied to many many other grammatical principles okay and yeah okay this is not the end of the lesson so <laughs> let's go through this. This list is by no means uh, exhaust, exhaust, exhaustive, exhaustive, but rather a small taste of some of the concepts that you will be learning in the next 100 lessons. I have not even finished 25 lessons and he's talking about the next 100. Nice. Okay. Yeah, 29. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's fine. So, kurata plus m or um. Yes, like that. Kurom. Okay. 
NG NG Keronji Keronji I don't know Oh is this is is this to not know why is ah, no uh, never mind it's probably like that <laughs> Kirol Kirol Kot Kachayo Katayo I don't know yeah okay uh, uh, it makes no sense to 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 read all of these and remember this uh, I can't remember it anyways I will just learn it when it's coming in the lesson so I will just learn the learn a bit get more feeling about the usage of the word by reading the English ones um, even though it is like that would be nice if it like that do you think it is like that it is like that so hmm. okay that's interesting Oh. Oh. Sure, yep. Okay. At this point, I hope you can understand how irota, kurota, and chorota can be used and their general meanings. In addition, I hope you can understand how color words are used in sentences. Just below, I will continue the discussion of the use of a and how it is used on words where jog is commonly attached. Okay. Mm. This seems to be a pretty big break in in the in the topic. And I mean I guess that's why this big line is here and, and the big space around the line. This is really a different topic that he just added here at the end. And it's definitely l long enough that we will not finish it today or that it takes at least like, I don't know, 20 more minutes or so. And we are already after 7 p.m. So uh, I will I will stop here and we will do this new topic tomorrow. Um, yeah, but the colors and the irota, kurota, chorota are finished. So I guess we would be able to do the exercise now. I, I don't think the exercise is about this bottom part here. I think the exercise is about the colors or or these three. Uh, but anyways, we will uh, do this tomorrow in the beginning and then we will do the exercise let's do a very little peek into the workbook there we go and here we have oh here we have a 23 Ah, here we have like that kind, that type, like this. Okay, so this is about the things we just learned, the irota, kurota, chorota. Then we have, oh, an exercise about the H irregular, I guess. Okay, so no exercise about colors. Hmm. Well, okay, oh, okay, I guess color, yeah, okay, colors are included. Yeah, so those are the colors, but it's just about the, <laughs> it's not really about the colors, it's re It's about the conjugation with the H irregular, right? It's not about using the colors, but yeah, now that I think about it, probably doesn't really make sense to have an exercise where you have to put in the right colors. <laughs> I mean, for that, you just have to know the vocabulary, right? So this shouldn't be in a vocabulary exercise, 
I mean, something like the sun is yellow. The roses are red. <laughs> And you have to put in the right color words. I, I guess it wouldn't make sense. So I guess this is fine. Okay, so we have two exercises for tomorrow. And before we do those exercises, we will learn about A and Jock. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice evening. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Annyeong.